Ow. Say it ain't so. Spider. You turn my headphones up. Trippy. I don't give a shit about nothing but money. Cash. Yes, sir. Live and you learn. Grind and you earn. Bitch, I'm on fire. I sit and I burn. Good afternoon. We are at it on this beautiful Friday afternoon here in the city of Cleveland. Thank you for joining with me on this dinner shift right along, man. It took a little minute to get a little order that's gonna pop us out to the east side. But we got this one here, Red Robin, 20, 1025, four miles. We're gonna drop us off in Maple, which is not an area we care for, but hey, it's something to get a kickstart. Let's see if it's ready to no. Starting the day off with a wait, <laughs> but I'm feeling a little nervous today. It's super nice outside. I mean, it's been feeling kind of slow all week. And today, I mean, I made, I made $25 an hour. We're starting the dinner shift off at $125. But I don't know, man. Felt like the bottom going to fall out today. How's it going, man? I'm good. There you go. Yeah, you too. All right, y'all. We got our next one. It ain't the greatest thing in the world, but we in the we in a dead dead zone right now. Um, I think I kind of hate about this zone. Oh, back to the offer. The offer is 850 for eight miles, so I'm gonna pay us 850 to go where we need to go anyway. And the thing about this zone, man, half of the zone is really good, and half the, the other half of the zone is really bad. So if you get stuck over here, it could get a little brutal. Uh, hopefully, that's our DoorDash right there. 817, yep, that's me. Uh, yeah, 817. Good, uh, y'all. And this order going to Granada. If you're from Cleveland, you already know. Y'all, uh, my, my Uber Eats app, it's not, it's not making any notification sounds. <laughs> I don't know, and I was bumping the music in here. I don't know how many orders I may have missed on that drive all the way over here because I couldn't hear the notification and I couldn't hear the vibrate because the music was too loud. But uh, we on our way to get to the hot spot. Let's try to get this day going and flowing. All right, next thing, smoking. We got this Buffalo Wild Wings on Uber Eats. $13 for like six miles. Not really dropping off anywhere ideal, but it's all freeway mileage. So as long as this Buffalo wing, Wild Wings has this damn order ready, it should be quick. But that's a big if with Buffalo Wild Wings. But this one, nobody comes here. Uh, picking up an Uber Eats for Giovanni. All right, thank you. Have a good one. Two. Oh, we snagged a uh, little DoorDash also, so let's go. Hey, right, next thing up, we got this Panera. It's 75 for four miles. Um, it's really just gonna take us to the other side of the zone where we would rather be and i got pee <laughs> so that is really the main motivation for taking this uh i got a doordash for katie i see it sitting over there all right paneras in the evening <laughs> it's a totally different game man totally different game but we got it we peed and we on the way to drop this off. Hello, no problem. Have a good one. Right, we are moving and grooving. Next one up, we got Tessa Kerala, 1405. Five miles, gonna drop us off over in Shaker, which is good, because we're gonna keep everything going and flowing from there. Yep, all right, thank you. Ah, right there, right in front of me. 
Have a good one. Good. I'm just picking up an Uber for Nicole and thank you. All right, part two of the stack here is Jack's Deli. We like both the pickups. We like the drop off. It's gonna take us back to where we were. So let's get it. guys it is nice outside and all the idiots are outside walking around getting in the middle of the road stopping in the middle of the street but we are we got our high priority bottom dasher order here 3050 for 11 miles it's gonna take us all the way to twinsburg but um we just got to pick up a shake shack and crumble cookies and it's all freeway man so we could either try to find another order out in twinsburg or we can uh, just take the freeway to get back in the zone. So we got a choice, but let's go ahead and snag these two up. Hey, we had to wait like 10, 15. I ain't about to lie. They was kind of moving it in there. But uh, we on the way to crumble. And then we about to take, take this to the customer. All right, I'm just picking up a DoorDash for Mina. Have a good one. Come on, DoorDash, Uber Eats. Give me something that's gonna take me back to where I wanna be. We tried logging into the Bentleyville zone, but uh, that thing was great. <laughs> so we had to um, enter back, <laughs> start our dash or whatever. I don't know what I'm trying to say, bruh. But hopefully we can find something, but it, it's dead over here. It is super, super dead over here. There ain't no pings. We thought we had one while we was dropping that uh, order off, but that restaurant was like 17 minutes away. And no, thank you. Not to go to Maple Heights, nah. But um, let's go. Hey guys, we got our next one. We had one in No Fork. That was $11 for four miles dropping off in a nice area, but I just don't trust no fork. And then DoorDash said, don't worry, we got you. Tres Port Trios, 952 miles, gonna drop us off at Shaker. So we still gonna be in the thick of things. And I know I can rely on my folks at the Mexican restaurant all day. But uh, let's go ahead, let's snag it up. Well, that order was a real ball buster. All right, we keeping hope alive here. We got this Benihana, $20 for 17 miles. It's gonna go all the way over to Whitliff. Um, thinking behind this is that I could probably stack this along the way with something on DoorDash too, which I do got a city barbecue that's in the queue. But this gotta be ready, it's like six items. Let's see what it is, Benihana. How you doing? Uh, picking up an Uber Eats for Latasha. Okay. We got that thing. Home City Barbecue. Two pickups have been just about as unsmooth as it could get. How you doing? Oh my, barring a 
massive tip date. We gonna still hit this 300. We got this here, $20. It's gonna take us, and it's gonna take us right by the freeway so we could get home right at when we drop this off. This just gotta be ready. It's like seven items. So hopefully it's ready. Uh, let's see, I don't see nothing sitting there. I'm so fucking pissed, bruh. I'm at, I gotta, I gotta unassign it and deliver this before I get a contract violation. Uh, bruh, I'm so annoyed, man. I am so annoyed that I couldn't take that $20 order with me. I mean, I'm not, I ain't shaming the, the restaurant. It was a lot of food. It was like five plates. <sighs> but yeah, we're going to drive to the freeway and see if we get something that makes sense. But um, nah, I'm going to see y'all whatever I do next. about this $20 order still. Like, I feel my eye twitching and my energy is just drained, man. If I would have been able to do that, if that order was ready or closer to being ready than what it was, I would have not only been able to swing that $20 order, not only I would have got that lady's food to her house on time, but that thing would have dropped me off right by Opportunity Corridor and I'd be like, 10 minutes away from home but man the last the last couple hours of the night just too many things went wrong those last couple hours and instead of having a great day we just had a good day and the dinner started so great dinner started so great so promising everything was so smooth and then eight o'clock eight o'clock usually eight o'clock that's when i clean up at least as of the last couple weeks uh, it went south, man. What goes up must come down, man. Murphy's Law in effect. <laughs> but yeah, man, I, I, I would. And then for anyone that's wondering, I, after I had waited at that rest, the, the restaurant that I was waiting at, the Jamaican restaurant and the drop off, they were just too far apart. I couldn't, I couldn't go drop it off and then come back up to the Jamaican spot. It just, it wasn't happening. I had to make that, I would have, I had to make the decision right after I dropped off the Benihana, what I was gonna do. And I chose to go to the Jamaican spot because I thought the order would be ready. And it cost me, it cost me. Now, if I would have made the decision to go drop the ladies off food first and then go to the Jamaican restaurant, I could have I could have made that work. But made, made the wrong decision, man. Made the wrong decision with that one. And it, it, cost, it cost me having a great night. But it was still a good night, still a good night, still average at least $25 an hour, which, um, you know, it, it was, today was slow, honestly. Today was slow. It'll be interesting to see how it is next week once um, all the people that have like platinum because they got blessed in from being a top dasher, once that wears off what the order flow looks like. Um, but I mean, even right now, we're still able to manage and make it work. I won't be recording tomorrow. Um, tomorrow, I just wanna, I'm just gonna do, do enough to hit my weekly goal, that 1500, and then I'm gonna try to get home in time to watch the Cavs game. I wanna see the Cavs. Hopefully they could take game three and take a 2-1 lead on Boston, bruh. Oh, man. I'd be totally satisfied with the Cavs playoff run if they were able to do that. Even if they were to just lose the series. If they could take game three and show they got some fight, I'll be happy with that, but we'll see. We will see. Man, I'm Saudi. I am Saudi. Saudi face over that $20 order, bruh. <laughs> Thank y'all, man, for tuning in, tapping in with your boy, dropping them comments, sharing them videos, leaving them likes. I appreciate all that.
<laughs> um, I'm gonna start going live, man. I know I keep talking about this damn live, man. I know y'all probably tired of me bringing it up, but I am gonna be doing the live stream. I just gotta get another phone, man. I just got other priorities for my money, man, than spending um spending money opening up a new phone line. It's just not that's just not a priority like that right now for me. If I rambled on long enough, your boy Saudi, I'm gonna go home and eat. Take a get sleep good. I'm gonna sleep good tonight. I'm not gonna be pressed to get out early tomorrow. I only need to make like $200 tomorrow to hit my goal. I don't even think $200 to hit my goal. So I, I can knock that out pretty quickly. But peace, man. Peace. I'm gonna see y'all the next one.